Shortgage Refinance Company partners stakeholders to train returnees, IDPs, others in construction artisanship. Family Homes Funds, Nibri to partner in enhancing housing delivery. APC in South Africa promises to partner Buhari on housing, power, and standard organization of Nigeria tasks cable makers, others, and global best practice. The latest couple in town. Good day, sir. How are you? Oh, sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you, sir. Uh, drinks? No, we're, we're fine, sir. How was the moon experience? It was quite an experience. Mm. How about house? We are renting at the moment, but we intend to save enough to own our own house, right? Why not avoid all those Shylock landlords and own a house up front? You know, the average income and cost of building houses today in Nigeria, mortgage is the best option. No sweat. I tell you what. That was how I got my first house, and I've never regretted it. To make good homes, and by implication, a good society, an individual is expected to have an abode from which to take off and return at the end of each day. At the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, everyone deserves a home. Come join us at FMBN, and let's shelter Nigeria together. Watching Housing TV News, I am Nomso Thoma. Now the details. The Nigeria Mortgage Refinance Company and other partners have commenced a 60-day training and empowerment program for Nigerian youths, especially rescued victims of human trafficking, internally displaced persons, and persons who return from countries like South Africa because of xenophobia in construction artisanship. Speaking at the opening ceremony on Monday at the headquarters of Industrial Training Fund in Abuja, the MD and CEO of NMRC, Kende Ogundimu, said this was a corporate social responsibility that will enable the beneficiaries settled into their various communities and able to earn a living by contributing to the Nigeria housing sector with acquired skills and startup seats. NMRC is working collaboratively with ITF and NAPTIP to achieve this program, while NAPTIP helped identify the beneficiaries whom they had rescued from their various ordeals. ITF will offer the training being sponsored and supervised by NMRC. In a bid to enhance the process of housing delivery in the country, Family Homes Funds on Monday paid a courtesy call to the nation's leading building research institute, Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute in Abuja, to explore opportunities for working with them. Speaking with Housing Development, the MD and CEO Family Homes Funds, Femi Adewale, says knowledge is a critical part of ensuring change in housing delivery, hence the need to partner with the nation's leading building research institute. For his part, the Acting DG and CEO of Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute, Samson Duna, expressed delight about the meeting, saying both parties will identify areas of common interest and forge ahead from there. Both parties have agreed to work together as a bilateral team has been set up to explore concrete areas for collaboration with concrete results. The committee will report back in a month. Moving on, the South African chapter of All Progressives Congress, APC, has promised to work with President Muhammad Buhari to solve problems of housing, health care and energy in the country. The group in a letter addressed to the President and jointly signed by Mr. Bola Babarinde and Professor Folorinsho Fashino, the Chairman and Secretary General, respectively said these were critical issues demanding urgent attention of the President. The group, which expressed pleasure in meeting with the President during his visit to South Africa says that the low income earners and civil servants were hardly remembered by developers of mass housing schemes in the country. And finally, the Standards Organization of Nigeria, SUN, has sounded a note of warning to cable manufacturers and importers on the need to always adhere to global best practices in their operations. The organization noted that the cable sector, which has been the pride of Nigeria for some years, is being threatened by unwholesome practices. SUN Director General Osita Aboloma, who spoke during a meeting with cable manufacturers, urged them to protect their products because of the influx of substandard cable in Nigeria. He was represented by the Director, Inspectorate and Compliance Directorate, Obiora Manafa. I'm Leilani Farha, the UN Special Rapporteur, and I hope you'll keep watching the Housing Development Program. 
that's all for the news. Remember to subscribe to House and TV Africa to get more information that can help you own a home at ease. Now, don't forget to tune in to AIT 9 a.m. on Wednesdays and TVC 10.30 a.m. every Saturday for more house and information. Opportunity for advertisement and sponsorship of the program is open also. My name is Namso Thoma and thank you for watching.